From the Ironga and Surrounds, Namibia, um, Tourmaline, the, uh, uh, I think from the time of the alien eyes, if I'm not mistaken, but not, uh, uh, there's a sort of a slight effect, but not quite. Um, what we had in the alien eyes were these uh, see-through green fluorides with a, almost an amethyst core. Uh, from a display point of view, I'm just going to run you through the angles on this guy. So if you have it standing flat on a turntable like this, this is the effect we'd have. Not at all photogenic, these guys. So uh, I'm glad to be able to present a video just to give you a different perspective. We have uh, almost a kicular uh, formation of tourmaline, which I suspect are the albi tourmaline. So with strong lighting, you'd, you'd actually see different colors from red to maybe uh, green uh, in the tourmalines. Top section here, uh, non-terminated tourmalines. There you have a little spray of the tourmalines perched inside the, within the little uh, fluoride crystal. Some of them actually included in the fluorides. So this would be this point of display. There you have the little tourmalines running right across. Now we go to the back. There we have some muscovite, or maybe mountain beard I call it. Little acicular sprays of the alba tourmalines running through there. Size-wise, we're looking at a palm size, so pretty good size. My favorite point of display on this guy would be this particular angle. I'd actually take it in like this, where you can see the, the totality of this fluoride crystal with a little bit of internal uh, fractures, giving it extra bring, breaking up the light. And of course, this one needs strong lighting. It's, it's pretty dark green with the blue running through it.